Good morning, folks. Hurry up and wait is the game today. Lots on the lookout with a sprinkle of eye candy and academic honesty as we start with our star, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. The last day on the sun was very quiet given the potential on our star. No solar flares, considerable CMEs, or coronal holes facing Earth. About the biggest story this morning is sustained KP4 moderate geomagnetic instability as the second coronal hole stream in three days impacted Earth yesterday. Very weakly, I might add. But eyes still focus up north when we hurry up and wait to see if now this major size active region has anything in the tank. It's still split magnetically, despite its size, with the primary flare risk coming at the magnetic meeting points like that one there in the middle. Faces Earth directly today and tomorrow. Top quake of the last day struck that same eastern Oceania region, slid just slightly south from the last one. Quick eye candy here of a galaxy group, sort of looking like the Starship Enterprise. Gorgeous collection, regardless. More an academic pleasure to read with this one. Honest scientists say things like this. Not that the science is settled, certain, and above questioning. And yes, there are miles to go before they sleep. I'd love to tell you this is a huge, shattering moment in physics, but I see those come and go by the month these days, so we'll hurry up and wait to see how this filters through. Something only supposed to happen in tremendous cosmic circumstance was reproduced on a lab table and represents the first time it has actually been observed. It was just theoretical before. They managed to pull something from nothing, and here is where it helps to know the plasma cosmology background. Using electric currents and graphene lattice structure, they created even more powerful currents that essentially ripped a particle and antiparticle from the vacuum, from the ether, to this realm in physical manifestation. It also produced a whole bunch of other unexpected stuff that shouldn't have happened if they have detailed physics correct, which they don't. And this plays into vacuum energy as well, dark matter and dark energy in their true natures, and the essence underlying the universe with which we interact but can't touch. Or at least we couldn't until now. I'd love to tell you you have all day to catch up on those cosmology videos, but in a matter of hours we will be focusing back on catastrophism and putting yesterday's top story firmly where it belongs in the bigger picture of Earth's catastrophe cycle. That's 3 p.m. Mountain Time, so 5 p.m. Eastern U.S., and for that one, the Christmas Day disaster documentary is required viewing. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots to wait for from videos to the sun here. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.